Hello everybody, MD Polo here. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different and we're going to do a product review. And for full disclosure, the company did send me two red dots and they were pretty insistent upon it. And I asked them to send me an email from their corporate email agreeing that I could say whatever I wanted to, good or bad, I would give you my honest opinion and if they didn't like it, they didn't have to contact me again. So they responded through their corporate corporate email and said, yep, say whatever you want, tell us, give us feedback. They seem to be very eager to improve their product if any improvements were needed. So they sent me two of them. And the company is called C. Lee. It's, it's spelled C-Y-E Lee, but it's pronounced C. Lee. And I know that for a fact because I asked them. Now, what do they send me? And the, the gun has been safety checked. It's an HK VP9SK. It's safety checked, unloaded. The mag's in there just for aesthetics. And they send me two red dots. One is for a compact or micro compact, as you see here, and it's called the Cat Pro. And we'll go through some of the details on that. But the reason I'm showing you these is because they, they are very budget friendly and they seem to be pretty well made. So we got the Cat Pro with an open emitter, and we got the Bear, like the Bear, Grizzly Bear. And this, is, of course, is a closed emitter. You know, you can see here, I'm not sure the camera is catching it, but you can see the lens is on an angle. It seems to be very well made as far as the structure. I'm going to talk a little bit about something that I didn't like, but let's get a little bit into the details first. I do have notes here. Red dots, as you know, or if you don't know, red dots are not my forte. I'm learning, I'm getting into them. I have quite a few of them now, but I'm still, I guess, old fashioned and I like my iron sights, although I do see the benefits of the red dot. But starting with the CAD Pro, just to give you an idea, this thing retails for $200. And right now they have it on sale on their website for $175. The Bear, retails for 300 and they have it on sale at the website for 250 so very budget friendly don't think the no it's not going to show up on the screen cameras don't like red dots as a rule of thumb but so for the cat pro 200 dollars 175 right now it's a 3 moa dot and it is adjustable. You see the adjustments right here. And you, you get one MOA adjustment per click. It is based on the Shield RMSC footprint, 407K. I'm letting you see it as I move it around. Open reflex, open reflex for subcompat. And it's got a shake awake. If, you, if it is motionless for four minutes, it goes dormant. And then when you pick it up, any motion wakes it up. And it actually does a really good job at waking it up quickly. The dot is pretty clear. It's not the clearest I've seen, but it is a personal issue. I have astigmatism, and sometimes red dots don't play well with my eyes. But for what it is and for the price point, I think they did a good job with the dot. I can see it pretty clearly. It is waterproof with a rating of IPX7. The battery, as you can see here, it is side loading, so you don't have to take the red dot out and lose your zero. Just unscrew that, the battery goes in right there. Here you have it for windage, elevation is here. The screws have not backed out on me. I put a little Loctite and torqued them to spec, and they stayed put. It's held zero pretty well. The battery is a CR1632, and at the lowest setting is rated at 50,000 hours. Now, one thing to note, it's got 10 settings, so you can adjust it for brightness right here. It's got 10 settings, but the, the lowest two settings, you, can only, you can't see the dot. It can only be seen through night vision. So, two for night vision and eight for regular vision. It comes with a three-year warranty. It is light, it weighs one ounce, and it is made out of aircraft grade aluminum. 
wish the dot would play nice with the camera and you can see it. That's no, not going to work. There you go. That's as, that's as bright as it'll go. And of course it's not that color and it's really not that big. But that's just what the camera does to it. So, so far it's been pretty good. And for under $200, I think it's a heck of a deal. Is it my favorite? No. I can tell you that right now. I've got here the Holosun. That I really, really enjoy, the EPS. Close emitter. And then comparing it to the bigger brother here to the bear, I have the regular Holosun EPS. But this is not a comparison. But you can see they did a really good job on the quality of the bear. And this is half the price of that. So it really depends what your budget can do, what you feel like doing. And then if I'm going to compare this with one of my favorites, which is the Swamp Fox Sentinel. But again, bottom loading battery, you lose your zero. With a Sealy, you don't. So you pick your poison. And it also, like I said, depends on your budget. Looking at the bear. Now, this is, a lot of people like it, a lot of people don't. People say it looks like a mailbox stuck on top. See, the focus is not playing nice with me. There we go. So, it looks like a mailbox sitting on top of a gun. But, once you use them, they're really, really nice, very friendly. My favorite one so far has been the Steiner MPS. But... For what it is, for the price, this does very well. It's got the adjustments here. It also has, let me move the gun out of the way, maybe it's the focus will play better. It's got the adjustments right here. And also, like the first one, it has 10 settings. The lowest two settings are strictly for night, night vision as well. See, there's, the, there's the dot on that. Now, the one thing I can tell you is the dot is pretty clear. The surrounding glass, and this is, I'm nitpicking here, but comparing it, for example, and this is just with my eyes, comparing it to the dot over here on the Holosun EP, EPS. Get this. Anyway, um, the glass around the, the dot on the Holosun is very clear all the way through. On this, I can see some ripples, a little bit of, let's say, non-clarity. Um, I'm really nitpicking. If you're just grabbing out there when I was at the range, it, not, it never bothered me. But you are talking half the price. Now, this also is a 3MOA dot. It's got... The, adjust, the adjustments, as you see here, and it's got one MOA per click, just like on the Cat Pro. This one, it is with footprint for the RMR. And when you purchase it, for example, for the bear, they bring you, they give you the plates. Focus is just not wanting. There you go. They give you the plates, and the plates are metal. They're, they don't give you plastic plates. And they tell you right here for the RMR, for the MOS, if you have a Glock. So at least they give you two plates, which is more than a lot of the manufacturers might do. They're not plastic. And anything else, if you want for a different footprint, you can order it, and they'll, they'll, you can buy it from them. But at least they give you two plates right off the bat. Another thing they're going to give you is... They give you an instruction card, a quick start. They do a good job with that. On the website, right on the photo session, they'll give you the instructions on how to adjust it, which way you turn it for windage and elevation, if you need to adjust your dot. They provide 
a little pack with the screws that you'll need to mount them to the different plates they provide you, a cleaning cloth. I mean, for the price, they did a really, really good job on this. Now, what don't I like? Not much, but if you can see here, all I've done, I've opened this one time and I did it. I was careful and I, I used a quarter to open the battery. This way the battery goes, side mounted battery. And right away the finish started to come off. So again, you know, $200, right? But other than that, I, I don't beat my guns up. I don't go out and throw them off buildings. And that's not the kind of testing that I do. I'm a regular guy that loves guns, that likes to share things with you guys and learn from you. So, you know, there's other channels that beat these things to death. And if you're going to be doing that kind of thing and you're going to be an operator and that's the kind of thing you need, well, that's where you need to go for this information. But this, the bear also um, has the shake awake, four minutes shake awake. It also is waterproof, but this one has IPX6 rating. The other one had IPX7. The battery is also a little bit different. This one comes, you have to use a CR2032 versus a 1632 on this one, but also 50 hours, 50,000 hours, three year warranty. This one weighs, the bear weighs 2.4 ounces. And also, like I mentioned, it's got the two settings for night vision, night vision, uh, which are the lowest ones, and eight for regular. Also made out of aircraft grade aluminum. So I just wanted to show you these two optics. My apologies for the camera. I don't know what in the world is going on. But from C. Lee, yes, they're made in China. So is Holosun, and probably so is half of the stuff in your home. So it's, it is, it's just something that it is what it is. But I wanted to share it with you. And yes, they did send them to me, but I'm still giving you my total, true, and honest opinion. I think it's a good product. If you're budget-minded, if you're, this is what your, your budget calls for, then both the Bear and the Cat Pro, I think, are a good choice. So thank you very much for C. Lee for sending me the the two red dots for review. Please let me know what you think. Have, do you have any experience with the company? Have you tried them? I'd like to know what your thoughts are on something like this versus getting into something like the Holosuns or the Trigicons or the Swamp Fox. Um, I'm also looking to learn from you. So thank you very much for stopping by. Please remember that I upload videos every Friday morning and when I can, Wednesday mornings as well. And I'm also active on Instagram. There you can see what's coming down the pipeline way before it hits YouTube. So if you'd like to give me a follow over there, that would be great as well. So once again, thank you very much for stopping by. And until the next time, God bless.